Is Five Stars Grand Cosmopolitan Hotel in Dubai worth your money? In this video, I'm going to review the location, service, room, vegan food, and facilities of this hotel. If you are new to this channel, we are a vegan family and we love traveling in style. There is me, Gosia, my husband, Piotr, and our son, Adam. We chose Grand Cosmopolitan Hotel because of its excellent reviews on Booking.com and the convenient location. I'm going to review this hotel in following categories. Each of them can be rated maximum 5 stars, where 4 stars is really good and 5 stars is exceptional. The first category is location. Here I give 4 stars. Our taxi journey from the airport to the hotel took approximately 20 minutes. The hotel is located in Al Barsha 1 neighborhood, very close to the Mall of Emirates. The nearest metro station is just about 4 minutes walk from the hotel. This line can take you directly to different attractions in Dubai. There were no vegan restaurants nearby, so if you want to eat outside the hotel, you can try some Arabic dishes suitable for vegans in local restaurants or go to the Mall of Emirates. The next category is service. I give 5 stars for service as it was exceptional, starting from the reception, through door openers and baggage handlers and ending on chefs in the restaurants. One day, the hotel staff surprised us with a fresh fruit basket. We go like that food. What's that? Is that peach? Yeah, we have an apple and peach. We have oranges. Wow, two oranges. We have green apple. Very nice. And we have bananas. Berna in English, Berna? Pear. Yeah. Pear. Pear. We have vine to open. And in English? Grapes. Grapes, apple, and apple, and orange. The so yummy. Hoba with banana. And he like, he like manka. Monkey? Monkey. He Man like banana. And who? I don't know, like apple. And which one do you like? What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is this one. Banana? Yeah. Okay. And this apple is so yummy and music. And this apple is red and yellow. And... Wow. The third category is room. Here I give four stars. Our room was very spacious. It was 68 square meters. The decor was very simple, but there was everything what we needed. We really liked super large, very comfortable bed with high quality sheets. The lighting of the room was controlled by electronic panel next to the bed. There was also an alarm clock and a wireless charger for mobile phones. We had also a spacious wardrobe with ironing set, slippers and bathrobes. In the minibar there was a coffee machine, electric kettle and a selection of teas. Coffee and tea was complimentary as well as bottled water. Other drinks and snacks were additionally charged. The available vegan snacks were different types of nuts and potato crisps. The bathroom wasn't very big. 
but there was both shower and a bath too. Adam especially liked the very comfortable bath. The cosmetics were very simple and there was no information if they are vegan or not. The fourth category is vegan food. Here I give 5 stars. Our breakfasts were served in the Gardenia Brasserie. You could also have their lunch or dinner. The atmosphere of this restaurant was very relaxing and welcoming. The breakfast buffet offered a good selection of vegan dishes. There was a small salad bar with local specialities like hummus or magdos. Guys, look at this hummus. It's so smooth, so firm. An explosion of tagini, beautiful and cumin, the proper hummus at the proper place. What is this? That's pickled aubergine, just like a local speciality, with uh, some nice um, chili, and uh, walnuts inside and this it's like kimchi kimchi taste it's so good mm. Mm. salty and pickled melting in the mouth crunchy nuts beautiful so nice Another traditional local dish, suitable for vegans, was fowl modamas. It was a stew made from broad beans and served with different condiments, like fresh tomato, onion and parsley, cumin and lemon. For fans of classic breakfast dishes, there were baked beans, rice with veggies, potatoes prepared in different ways, or steamed veggies. This is broccoli here. I can see here carrot and papua and cheese. What do you like? I like carrot. Carrot? Try mm, food music. <laughs> Electric carrot. <laughs> Electric carrot for breakfast. <laughs> there was also a nice section with fresh fruit and freshly pressed juices. Adam was very happy that every day the chef prepared vegan pancakes for him.
One day we were even surprised with vegan scrambled eggs served with rice grits. Mm. Beautiful. What is this? This is scrambled egg, Indonesian way. But this, vegan scrambled egg. Vegan, yeah, yeah. Made from tofu. Tofu, but the flavor is so onionish, garlic, and uh, this bread that they made special way. It's also very specific taste, like very it's, uh, rice bread, I think. Like rice, yeah, very salt, salty, so delicate. Beautiful. The most interesting live cooking station was preparation of Zatar Manakish, which is a Middle Eastern flatbread typically eaten for breakfast. And what is Zatar? It's a Middle Eastern spice blend of sumac, thyme, and seasoned seeds. Sometimes it can also include oregano, cumin, and marjoram. When combined with olive oil, it's used to top manakish. The dough for manakish is simple and yummy. There's dry yeast, water, flour, sugar, salt, and olive oil. On the last day, the chef surprised us with incredible veganized traditional Lebanese lunch. We have vegan kebab, traditional Lebanese kofta. Kofta. Okay. It's not meat, it's vegan, full vegan, and the bread also. So, how to eat it? You should cut one piece of Kebab, you mm -hmm. put it here, you roll it, and you bite it. You can dip it with the hummus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. You can dip it with this dip. Then here, you have stuffed bread. It's Lebanese bread also. Mm -hmm. With garlic dip, chili paste, pickles, and french fries. Mm -hmm. And toast. French fries? Yes. It's traditional. Yes. It's not traditional, but we put like some fusion. Fusion okay. inside. Okay? Some potatoes, pickles, garlic paste, and chili paste. This is the vegan chicken, breaded mm -hmm. vegan chicken. And this is the garlic dip also. Mm -hmm. yes. You can eat it with this one. This one. What is it's this? It's a lentil kibbe. Lentil? Lentil kibbe. Kibbe? Yes. It's a also Lebanese cuisine. Okay. With tabbouleh. Tabbule. The tabbouleh salad. Okay, so like this, this yellow thing is kibbe. Lentil. Lentil. It's it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. It's cold. Yeah, okay, so it's cold. It's, it's cold starter. A cold starter. Okay. Yes. There is pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate syrup, olive okay. oil, lemon juice, all spices, mint, fresh mint, fresh parsley, fresh tomato, fresh onion. All right. And the lentils. And the lentils. Yes. And uh, this uh, here with the paneer. What was this? This. No, uh, Arabic. Here, here, this was. This is a vegan chicken. A vegan chicken. How yeah. you made it? A vegan chicken based on soya bean. Really? Soya bean and beans. Okay, White and beans. you have it here in the hotel? Someone can order We this? will have it soon in the hotel. You will have it soon? Yes. So, if some uh, vegan clients come here, they can order this? For sure. For lunch? For sure. That's perfect. Sure. It's a kind of vegan lunch. Oh, that's great. And this white food? This is a garlic dip. Garlic dip? Yes. Okay. It's garlic cream, the mm -hmm. traditional oriental garlic dip. 
Uh -huh. It's also 100 percent vegan. And it's with fresh garlic. It's fresh garlic. Yeah. Fresh garlic. Fresh okay. Garlic. Perfect. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. So it's the vegan lunch in the hotel here. 100 percent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The taste of all these dishes was amazing. The vegan chicken has really meaty consistency and taste. Kebab kofta with garlic dip was our favorite dish. It was really hard to believe that it was all vegan. The last category are facilities. I rate it 4 stars. Every day there was traditional Arabic coffee with cardamom prepared for the guests and served with dates. We could enjoy it in the elegant hotel lobby. Apart from spa and the gym, there was on the rooftop a small playground, kids' pool, and 200 square meter size infinity pool with seven jacuzzi lounges. I must admit, Adam had a lot of fun in that playground. My total score for the hotel is 4.4 and I have to say it's a very high score as the hotel really exceeded my expectations. What do you think about this hotel? Share your opinion in the comments below.